Hello and welcome to our presentation on how an online business manages its information systems. My name is Tom Partridge. We have chosen to base this presentation on Red Letter Days as they are primarily based online and offer customers the chance to purchase experience days from skydiving to romantic trips away. They were set up in 1989 selling the products in stores across the country before going into administration in 2005 where they were eventually bought out by Dragon Den stars Peter Jones and Theo Vafitas. Within this presentation we will discuss Red Letter Day's business model, the entity relationship diagram, how they may use databases and SQLs to make business decisions and will suggest ways in which they can improve the interface of their website. I will now hand you over to Isabel who will explain the business model and how they use IT to create value for the business. Hello, I'm Isabel and I'm going to talk to you about Red Letter Day's business model and what the strategic value of information technology is to them as a company. The business model can be broken down into four sections, as you can see here. The first section, operations and activities, is all about the day-to-day -day running of the business. The second, partners and suppliers, is all about who Red Letter Days work with in order to run the business effectively. The third, customers and relationships, is about how the company targets its potential customers treats its actual customers and keeps its loyal customers. The fourth and final section, costs, revenue and value propositions, is about how the company makes money, what costs are involved and how value is created. Operations and activities. In our report, we looked into five main operations and activities, website maintenance, processing sales transactions, liaising with partners and suppliers, dealing with customer queries, questions and complaints, and keeping finances up to date, all five of which depend on information technology to work effectively. For example, as the website of the company uses is an information technology in itself, it is clear that without the use of IT, Red Letter Days would be without a website, a, valu a valuable revenue building and advertising platform for the company. Also, liaising with partners and suppliers is done using telephones and face-to-face -face meetings. However, IT allows email to be used, which in most cases can be deemed more convenient and a less time-consuming way to communicate with each other. Partners and suppliers. Partners can be split into three sections, retailers, affiliates and producers. Retailers sell Red Letter Days products in their own stores. An example of this would be House of Fraser. Affiliates are other companies with websites who promote Red Letter Days on their websites in return for some commission. Producers are companies that provide the experience. For example, Red Letter Days sell London Eye tickets. The producer for this would be EDF Energy as they own the London Eye. Suppliers simply provide the materials used to create the vouchers and gift boxes. These suppliers have very little power over Red Letter Days as they supply very common products. The suppliers are likely to be notified via a database system as to when an order is needed, as this is a quicker and easier than contacting them with all the figures, yet another way that information technology has made the running of the business smooth and more efficient. I will now pass you to Barney. He will talk to you about customers and relationships. Hi, I'm Barnaby and I'm going to be talking about customers and relationships. The relationships with customers change depending on the type of customer. There are three types of customers, potential customers, actual customers and loyal customers. Potential customers are targeted through the seasonal events throughout the year, such as Christmas, as well as other events such as birthdays and Mother's and Father's Days. Through having a well-developed website, customers who purchase products are likely to return due to the ease of use of the site. Loyalty from returning customers is very valuable to Red Letter Days and therefore maintaining a website with quick, simple and user-friendly functions and transactions is essential. I'll now pass you over to Elle. Hello, I'm Elle and I'm going to talk to you about costs, revenue and value propositions. As with any businesses, there are many costs involved. Many are related to information technology. For Red Letter Days, the main costs are employees, website maintenance, advertising and marketing and supplies and materials. These costs are minimised by the use of information technologies. For example, there are little employee costs due to their information technologies taking up a lot of the workload. Revenues are made through the following products. 
gift experiences, B2B corporate events and gift vouchers. The main revenue stream is the gift experiences themselves which are sold mostly online and therefore depend on IT being available. Value propositions are ways in which value is created. In Red Letter Day's case, value is created through the value of money aspect as well as the value that the experience gives. For the Red Letter Days, the value of their end product is high and a person's experiences and memories are of stronger value compared to physical items. I will now run through the Entity Relationship Diagram. We have designed an Entity Relationship Diagram to represent relationships between individual entities identified in the Red Letter Days infrastructure. We found seven entities present which included the Sales Department, Employee, Customers, Product, Product Categories and Payment. Each entity was then subdivided into specific attributes. Firstly, we looked at the cardinality of relationships between the two entities. One-to-one -one relationships occur when an instance of one entity is related to one instance of another. These are present between payments and orders and payment of customers. One-to-many relationships exist between employees and orders, sales department and employee, customers and orders, and products and orders. These occur when an instance of one entity relates to an instance of many. Finally, many instances of one can relate to many instances of another, resulting in a many-to-many -many relationship. This is found only between the product and the product category. Looking at the optionality of relationships, the circle represents zero relationship allowed, which is found between employees and orders, as an order isn't essential to an employee, customers and orders, as a customer isn't obliged to make an order, and products and orders, as browsing products doesn't necessarily create an order. The rest of relationships are present, represented by a dash, which indicates a mandatory relationship exists between the two entities. I will now pass you over to Hannah, who will talk to you about the SQL query and the database. Hello, I'm Hannah and I'll be talking about our database and SQL. Databases enable Red Letter Days to take and process orders and are closely linked to the Entity Relationship Diagram. These are examples of some of the databases involved with Red Letter Days and some example data entries have been entered. For example, these are the customers which have an account, some products which are on offer to the customers and orders which have been made by the customers. We also have included some example validation rules within our database to improve accuracy and reduce the likelihood of human error. Structured query language is used to help the customer limit what content they view on the website. The search bar on the left of the website interface allows the customer to search by price filtering, location filtering and category filtering. For example, this query will show experiences listed under the couples category, in London and for under £50. This allows the user to view and purchase products which are suited to their requirements. I will not now pass you back to Barnaby. One recommendation for Red Letter Days is to include an additional map view of gift experience locations. This will allow customers to visually view the various locations of gift experiences in order to make a quicker and easier judgement of which gifts are appropriate for them. Virgin Experience Days, who are a strong competitor, has already implemented this approach to their search, re search results as shown here. Secondly, the Find a Gift option is, uh, is very useful but could also be improved. This option allows the customer to select who the gift is for, their characteristics and what price range they want on that item. This then filters all the categories into a number of suitable results. These results appear with just a picture of the experience which makes it difficult for the user to clearly understand what they are offering. To improve this, they could have a more detailed page, including a title for the experiences, as well as a price. This would increase the ease of use, as well as reducing the searching time. By acting upon these recommendations, Red Letter Days could potentially enhance the loyalty of their customers, which potentially lead to more sales. To conclude this presentation, Red Letter Days use IT to improve their lead times, to market themselves and to operate its day-to-day -day activities. Without information systems, Red Letter Days would not be the, it, uh, would not be the same it is today. Thank you.